Hello fellow DJs, my name is Jake Hill. A few months ago I released a product called Snug Wax, which were basically strips of adhesive vinyl that you could use to fill the gap in your vinyl um, so that it would not be too loose on your spindle, on your turntable. The original Snug Wax strips that I came up with were uh, black adhesive vinyl, glossy, and uh, they were just basically pre-cut. They came 24 to a pack and you just fit them through your, uh, the whole of your record until it was a little more snug on your turntable. Well, I sold out of that first batch of black, and I thought to myself, um, I do like the way that these work, but I'm not a fan of the, the uh, black showing up so much on the label of the control vinyl or regular vinyl. So I searched around and I found a supplier that could make them clear. So these are uh, the new Snug Wax strips. These are a clear... Uh, adhesive vinyl pre-cut. Still 24 to a pack and uh, these actually are a slightly different material that works a little better than the glossy adhesive vinyl. They're a little thicker and um, they're clear and that's the big selling point. So I'm going to show you how they work real briefly and uh, show, show them to you on a record. Alright, you're looking at a piece of control vinyl. This happens to be a Shibuya break with the uh, scratch tones on one side and uh, Serato tone on the other side. This is an older one that I've had for a while, so it's it's taped up with some scotch tape. And the problem with scotch tape is that it wears it wears down eventually. So I've got probably seven pieces on here piled up and piled up because it would just wear off um, from the center spindle there, and then it would just make that gummy in there. And so I'd just put another piece of tape on there to fill the gap, and then that would get gummy. So it just so it turns into a big mess. So to illustrate the snug wax strips, um, I. Stripped all the tape that I had on this piece, and so the problem, and most of you turntable DJs already know this, is that it gets a little loose right here on the spindle. And if I stop talking, and you listen, you can hear it click clacking around on there. And so the problem with that is, as you're cutting, mixing, cueing, whatever you're doing, um, you got a little gap there. Not only is it really annoying, and I hate that feeling, but even in Serato when your needle skips it could still affect your scratching even in relative mode. You're still going to hear audible skip as it refines that signal again. And also as you release the record when you're mixing and whatnot it, it's slightly different especially if you're doing some cuts and and things like that. There's going to be a little bit delay because that the platter has most of the friction on the record but the spindle does have a lot to do with um, it pulling the record through as you release it from your cues and your mixes and whatnot. So let's take a look at these new snug wax strips. Um, these are actually hard to see on camera because they are clear, but they do come 24 to a pack, and that'll last you quite a while. Uh, cost for a pack shipped to you is $3.99, so it's four bucks. It's going to last you a long time, and the convenience is worth it alone because you don't have to cut individual strips of paper or. Um, sticker paper, label paper like Qbert suggests, uh, or uh, use tape like I used to use, which just gums things up even worse. So let's just, um, I'll show you uh, an actual strip and we'll put it on the record. Okay, here's the actual strip. It's hard to see because it's, like I said, clear. But it's clear adhesive vinyl pre-cut. You just peel it off the sheet. Grab your record. And then simply put it halfway in the hole, push the sticker down, flip it over. You might not even be able to see it sticking out of there. Oh, there it is right there. And you basically just pull it and press it down. And there you have it. And on this one, it's so gummed up from the previous tape I had on there. I mean, you can't even see it. Let's put it on there. And in this case, one, st one strip did us pretty good. I think that's all we need. You don't want to put too many on there because you don't want it too tight on the spindle. But you just want enough tightness so that there's no lateral movement when you're cutting or whatnot. So this one feels good. So that's basically snug wax strips. They work on all surfaces. I'll um, show you on a black label so you can see it a little better. I've got some, got some new green control vinyl here. That uh, this was, these were really loose. I actually had to put two strips on each one. But you can see on the label, you can't even hardly tell that they're there. 
and like I mentioned earlier, the clear strips actually are a little a little thicker, a little more durable, I think. So um, they're actually an improvement over the previous black model of snug wax strips. So to get some snug wax strips of your own, just go to snugwax.com. That's S-N-U-G-W-A-X.com. Order them right off of there. Um, I'll put them in an envelope and send them to you myself. Thanks for watching.